makes it hot. Right after this. It's right here on Earth, an adventure game for teens and adults that brings video games to life. Consumer correspondent John Stossel takes aim on Planet Photon. What makes it hot when 2020 continues? Wouldn't it be great if just once you could know before your kids know what's going to be the next big craze? If you could have told them about Pac-Man before it happened, or if you could have told them about MTV before they knew what a VJ was, imagine what a hit you'd be with them. Well, a lot of people are convinced that a photon craze is about to sweep the country. What is a photon? It's a mysterious world built for teens and adults, an adventure game that makes video games come to life. Our consumer correspondent, John Stossel, journeyed there and has transmitted this report. Alien, everybody goes. Everybody hears me, everybody takes off. Meet Spacely and his friends, the Jetsons. During the day, Spacely is successful architect Bill Lacey. That's our third game, and that'll wind up the championship. And we'll be like in sixth place, which is good because our guys keep breaking their legs and we keep running out of players. See you later. Rob Colstead is a computer systems analyst. But tonight, he's the dreaded Dr. Disruptor. Jan Matthews works as a bartender. But on Wednesday night, she becomes Janimal. Janimal? Spacely? Dr. Disruptor? Let's go, Jetson. Jetson! What is all the excitement about? Well, these people are watching a new game called Photon. The sort of high technology version of cowboys and Indians. And it's getting very popular very quickly. This New Jersey franchise has been open less than a month, yet already crowds wait to be let in for the day's play. Last year, there was just one franchise in Dallas. Now several are open, and by next year, they'll be all over the country. Contracts are signed for 70 franchises. The Jetsons versus the Warlords! The biggest excitement centers on league play. This was the day of the league finals in Dallas. Party, party. Teams of six compete against each other. They run around a place that looks sort of like a discotheque. The object is to shoot the other team's base and also to shoot their players more often than they shoot you. Photon was invented by this man. He got the idea for it while watching the movie Star Wars. Well, uh, the, the scene where they're running down the hallways of, of the ship, shooting the phaser pistols at each other with all the, the laser beams zapping down the, uh, the hallways looked like fun. That's the same game I used to play as a kid, hour after hour. The game would always degenerate when I'd say, I got you, and the other kid would say, no, I got you first, and there'd be an argument, and the game would end. And uh, I thought, well, we need to put this in some sort of a, a context and get rules and uh, keep score. And it took you nine years to make it happen. The technology back then just wasn't available. The, uh, the microcomputer, the microchip, the cost, uh, it just wasn't possible to do nine years ago. Uh, within the last three or four years, this technology all became available. They're coming in the snipers us! Watching the game gets pretty confusing. I thought, if I went through the process, I could better explain it to you. Actually, I just wanted to play the game. So I should read First, they have you sign one of those horrible release forms. You know the type. It says, no matter what happens to you, it's not their fault. Then they take your picture and put it on a computer card that becomes your permanent photon record. That way, the computer always knows how often you've played and how well you did. Can I put one of these out, please? Next, What's you have to for? cover your hair. They require this, they say, to keep it's the helmets tighter. from getting grungy. Then you get the battery belt. This provides the electricity. And finally, your photon headgear and weapon, which they call a phaser. They give you either a green helmet or a red helmet. That's what lets you tell your team from the other team. All this gear weighs about 14 pounds, but it's well balanced, so it's not really uncomfortable. Because of the equipment, however, they won't let you play unless you're at least four feet, six inches tall. This young man just barely qualifies. Before you play, you have to register your special photon name into the computer. That's where names like Janimal and Dr. Disruptor come from. My photon name was appropriately Rookie. The phaser works on infrared light, and it tells you how you're doing by the sounds it makes. If you shoot and miss, it sounds like that. If you hit someone on the other team, it sounds like that, and you get 10 points. If you screw up and hit someone on your own team, it sounds like that, and you lose 30 points. 
Let's give it a try. At the end of 10 to 15 seconds, I'll holler alien real loud. At that point, you... Alien. alien. First, my green team has a strategy conference. You don't have to assemble a team to play, by the way. If you go to Photon alone, they'll put you with some other people. Photon put me with hotshot players like Space Lake, and he tells me what to do. You and Steve will take straight for the base. We'll take straight for the base through the hole. Buck will come Because down. we couldn't put cameras all over the Photon field without being in the way, parts of the game you're about to see are a reenactment. Welcome, Photon Warriors. Commence. Each game lasts about six minutes and costs three dollars, or three fifty, depending where you play. You walk to one end of the playing field and wait for the electronic countdown. Two, one, begin. Everybody runs around like crazy. I quickly get confused and forget the team plan. I just go around trying to shoot people. If you hit a player in the chest or a helmet, you score points. You know you've been hit when you hear this sound. That means I've been shot and my gun won't work for about five seconds. Otherwise, you never run out of ammunition. You keep shooting people until time is up. I do finally remember the game plan when I hear Spacely's attack cry. That's our cue to rush the red team's base. We shoot their base three times without being hit ourselves. We get a lot of points. A computer keeps track of everything. This is starting to be fun. There's some real strategy to it. And it's also decent exercise because to do well, you have to run around a lot. Of course, my fellow players have done this much more often than I. Why do they like it? I love winning, you know. I'm one of those kind of type A behavior people, you know, honk your horn at the stoplight and all that. I just really enjoy being able to go out there, and it's kind of non-destructive. The worst you can do is get sweaty. Janimal has another viewpoint. You're in a dark room, and there's mist, and there are laser lights, and maybe you're not really consciously aware of it all the time, but it, it, your heart starts beating the minute you come in, and as soon as the lady says, welcome, photon warriors, and... And it just, it changes you, it does. This psychologist says Photon is hot because the players find it more challenging than video games. The appeal is that they're allowed to physically participate in the game. And I think for many people, an, an additional element, maybe that they are competing with other people rather than just against a machine. Steve agrees with that. He's a college student and the best Photon player. No one beats his scores. He likes it because he likes... Hunting people. I enjoy hunting other people. Your adrenaline really starts pumping. Right. And you're, you just, you get really wired to play, and you get all this extra energy, and you're ready to run around and... Uh, and kill. Well, no, no not kill. that. It's no. Not A lot of the Photon people get very defensive when you suggest this is a game about shooting or That's killing. It is. Yeah, it's not an army it's game. Not a, it's not a go out and kill people. You're not going to hurt anyone. You, you know, you just, you're going to disrupt them for five seconds. They bounce right back. They can come right back and at see, you. see, that's what's challenging about it is because, okay, you go out and you kill them, right? But they're not dead. And that's they're right. going to come back after you. That's and right. So you... Coming back after the rookie seemed to be one of the attractions in this game. To go out and pursue, say, you on the field and come up behind you, shout, die, you gravy-sucking pig, and get three <laughs> pings there in your earphones is really a very entertaining kind of a thing. Congratulations, Photon Warriors. When the game is over, you leave the playing field. Disperse to exit. Disperse to exit. And check Disperse your scores. To exit. My team Disperse did pretty well. Exit. A rookie, however, Disperse had a negative exit. score. Disperse oh, well, that just makes me want to pay another $3 and play again. <laughs> Were you just saying that, or did you have fun playing I had fun. Uh, to me, it's not as much fun as a good volleyball game, but uh, I'm not 22 years old either, so it, it was fun. Does anybody get hurt playing that? I noticed a lot of steel railings they were vaulting over. I think people will get hurt. You're running around in the dark on an uneven surface, but so far they say no one's been hurt. What about ages? Are they mostly teens, or is anybody middle-aged out there? Uh, there are some people, even 65 and older, who play. You don't have to run around all the time. You can stalk people and do it more quietly. Be as active as you want. Right. Yeah. I have mixed feelings about aiming a weapon at somebody and pulling the trigger. But uh, one fellow in your piece said that uh, he didn't think in terms of killing. He was just aiming a light and scoring. And, and after playing, it feels more like a good workout. After a violent movie or a cop show, I can feel angry. I didn't. I felt like I had a good workout. 
That might be a proper outlet for aggressive feelings. Then. Could be. Not antisocial. Thank you, John. Thanks.